How about you? Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. If you're working with different implements throughout the day, you really can't spend a lot of time taking one off and putting the other one back on. And that's where this comes in handy. Before we start talking about the quick hitch, I've got some degreasing wipes here from Gunk. They were uh, kind enough to send us a box to kind of show off how they work. And this is this is unfiltered, this is unedited. We're gonna take these wipes and see if we can get this quick hitch cleaned up, all right? So let's see. Uh, so we'll just pull a couple of them off here. I ripped one getting it out of the thing there, but it should be all right. All right. Huh, that's all right right there. Again, this is this is unedited. This is no kidding how they really work. Pull it straight out of the box. Yeah, these things these things are pretty good. These de gunk degreasing wipes. I'm gonna put my Amazon storefront link on here. If you want to buy some of these, have at it. Pretty good stuff. Okay, now that we got it cleaned up, let's talk about the quick hitch itself. This is a Cat One quick hitch, and I. It's made by Grizzly. There's several manufacturers out there, and so they range anywhere from like 79 bucks to 150 bucks. Uh, everything Attachment sells them. Rule King, Harbor Freight, uh, Tractor Supply. There's this Agra Supply is where I actually got this uh, Grizzly Cat One Quick Hitch. Anyway, so let's go over the Quick Hitch and some of the advantages of that. Well, on the top you can see that it's got handles, all right? You, you can actually reach these handles from the driver's seat of the tractor when you pull it all the way up to uh, put the implement onto the quick hitch, and I'll explain that later. All right, so the quick hitch has a couple of uh, things attached to it, right? It's got the handles that we talked about where you can control them from the seat. It's got some levers that when you depress the handles, that's where they go. And then it has an adjustable hook on the top. And so this adjustable hook, I'm gonna talk more about that later, but this handle is actually spring-loaded. As I like to shoot a little bit of liquid wrench white lithium grease down in here, and that kind of keeps them lubricated, kind of rust protected while they're on the quick hitch itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these things lubed up a little bit. It's just a little squirt or two. All right, that should hold that, that should help protect those springs inside the quick hitch. Now that I've got the spring mechanism lubed up on the inside of the quick hitch, as I, as I put the handle down position, it makes this little lever come out here. And that's what's going to prevent the implement from coming off of this little hook here. And I'm going to explain that. And I'm going to explain the bushings that you need to put in there as well. So you can see as you operate the handle how it operates this lever. All right. And so you want to handle up to put the implement on. So now let's talk about this top hook the top hook you have is adjustable and i want to show you a little secret that i've got a little trick if you will if you're moving it from implement to implement all right so these are aftermarket pins it's not the ones that come with it you can take these pins out and adjust the position of this top hook any particular order that needs to fit your implement because your implement is going to have different your different pins associated with it and I just simply remove these, and now I can, oops, now I can uh, move the top hook up and down. And let me show you a little trick that I've got. Let's say, for example, I've got my box blade, and I know that my box blade needs to be right here. So what I can do is I can put, like, the number one with a, with a um, marker or some sort of paint pen or something like that. And I know that my landscape rake has a different depth to its pin system. And so I can put number two here. So number one and number two. All right. And so that tells me that when I go to get from my landscape rake to my box blade, I can put that top hole. And now I know that I've got the correct height set up for my box blade. Simply reattach my pins. And I've taken all the guesswork out of it. Like so. Okay, so, and then on my 
implement itself, I'll put a number one or a number two. So that's what I'll show you that here in a minute. But this quick hitch, you know, this is the three point quick hitch because it attached to three points. There's also other systems that you can use to attach implements quicker and easier than the standard three point hitch. And one of those is a Pat's easy hit system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link in this upper corner over here to Ask Tractor Mike's video about the Pat's Easy Hit system. Go check it out, it's an excellent video. You can tell them Hamiltonville Farm sent you as well, but it's an excellent video about the, the Pat's system and you can compare. If you're making a choice, hey, should I buy a quick hitch or should I buy the Pat's? It's an excellent comparison if you wanna, if you wanna check it out there. All right, so now you know a little bit about the quick hitch itself, but I ain't even told you how to put it on, have I? Okay, so it's a three-point quick hitch. And so what you have here is you have some pins that come off here, and they are removed. And here's your pin. And I'm not going to take the other side off so I don't drop it. But you can see the end of the link arm here. You simply slide the quick hitch onto there, stick your pin through it, like so, and put your lynch pin through it, your retainer pin, and you do that on both sides, the left side and the right side. And the top one is the standard, you put your top link in it, you put your pin through the top link, just like any other implement that you have. And be careful that you don't drop it on your toes. I will tell you this, man. You drop this thing on your toes, that guy, it's gonna hurt. So just be real careful about that, and be careful because it's kind of top heavy. All right. So now we know all about the quick hitch, and we know that we have a reference video for the Pat system if you want to compare it that I linked to the video earlier. So let's actually put the implement onto the tractor using the quick hitch. As I mentioned earlier, you're able to actually reach back. If you have the physical dexterity and, you know, capable, you can actually reach back and you can lower these handles. And now, you notice how they're flipping here? Well, let me show you what you have to do if that's the case, okay? Okay, so I've got the box blade put on like this on purpose because I wanted to demonstrate something. You can see how the handles are not uh, secure. Well, that's because these levers down here on these bushings have not... Uh, connected or secured the actual pin to the quick hitch itself. And so that's another thing I want to talk about is these bushings. You have to purchase adapter bushings that come with roll pins on them uh, if you're going to use category one implements. If you have category two implements, uh, then they'll fit onto a category two type of quick hitch. But remember how we talked about earlier where we made the marks and the, the box blade was going to go in this hole and it's going to line up here. Well, the reason why this is setting like it's setting is because my or my top hook is not uh, a proportional to the bottom hooks and therefore the distance created hasn't allowed for this to set inside that hook. That, that was a pretty high speed explanation. So, but anyway, basically your, your top hook ain't set right when you need to fix it is basically what I'm saying. So how do we fix the problem? Well, I'm gonna set the box blade back down on the ground, adjust my top link, and then put the box blade back, uh, pick the box blade back up to see if it sits onto the quick hitch like it's supposed to. Okay, let's try. Okay, so now that we've got it secured into place, then you can take your paint, remember how we made this one and two up here earlier to kind of mark where it's gonna be? Well, now we know that this is where it's going to sit on the quick hitch. So you can make a, let's put a B for box blade. And then, just kind of line it up that way. I mean, you know, whatever way that you can think of, 
you know, whatever system you got. If you can remember that the the top hook goes into this, you know, fourth, fifth hole, then have at it. But this just makes it easier if I'm going to say, hey, I know that the B means box blade. I'm going to hook it up. If you want to do bush hog, you could do BH or something like that. So now that I've got the quick hits dialed into this box blade, I know that if I'm going to change to a bush hog or to a landscape rake, and that takes a different height of a top hook, then I can go and I can adjust it, and, I, and these numbers will help tell me where they're at uh, as far as what implement, where does this setting need to be for whatever implement I'm putting on the back of the tractor. I hope you found this video helpful. You know, I'm a rookie, I'm a beginner at this kind of stuff, but I'm learning and I love to share the knowledge that I learned with the good people like you. And so if you like videos like this, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything but time. When you hit that subscribe button below, it just tells me you like the video and that you want to see more content that we put out. And so it just supports our channel. We would appreciate if you would do that. Again, we have uh, Facebook, we have Twitter, we have Instagram. It's all called Hamiltonville Farm. If you're into Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, please go check out those pages. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. You guys take care.